Hello here, Sherry with Lessons Learned. You're watching Finish It Friday, where we show off our finishes, both mine and yours. So uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers lately, and that's great. We welcome all of you newer ones. And uh, the Finish It Friday episode is obviously every Friday. And uh, it gives us all an opportunity to talk about not only what I have finished in this week, but also what some of you have finished and share uh, with us on the email at LessonsLearnt2021 at gmail.com. If you would ever like to send anything in for an episode, uh, a finished project, or uh, one of your projects that's in a finished stage, like if it's just a block, or a series of blocks, or a top, a quilt top, or even a fully finished quilt, a bed quilt, a table runner, wall hanging, whatever it may be. Uh, there's some guidelines in the description box on what you can submit and what I will use on these episodes. So check that out, and if any of you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit uh, the subscribe button. Uh, wherever it may be on your device, it's usually red. And just hit that button and hit all to get all the notifications. And you won't miss an episode. And um, yeah, we have a great time here on Lessons Learned. And uh, also on Mondays, I have a Monday chat. And then on Wednesday is usually just some random video that I make for you. Sometimes it's a project that I show you how to do techniques. Uh, could be anything. So three videos a week and um, we can all quilt along together sometimes. I have quilt alongs uh, programmed sometimes into those Wednesday episodes as well. So uh, yeah, glad to have you with us and if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. So uh, to this week I mentioned on Monday how I was going to uh, really try to get a big dent in this quilt here. This is my ragged flashback quilt made of Woolies flannel and it is a rag quilt. It has some ragging on it but not in the typical way where it squares and then all four sides of the square is ragged but rather it's uh, these V formations that you see here that um, are ragged. So uh, I started out the week with the um, basting. I got the basting done, and that being adding the batting and the backing. And then I started to quilt, and I just basically did a kind of a crosshatch pattern. You can kind of see it a little bit better here on the back. I'm loving that. And uh, now I'm working on the ragging and I'm just having to make those little clips in that uh, open seam there, not open seam, but the exposed seam. And I happened to uh, find the other day in all of my quilty sewy things, a uh, brand new pair of, of scissors that were made just for ragging quilts. And it's the Fomore brand and they're called uh, six and a quarter inch heavy duty rag quilt snip. And let me tell you something, these things work nice. No idea what I paid for them, nor where I got them. I have almost zero memory of this. It's very <laughs> slight in my head, the memory of buying these. I think I got them at my uh, quilt shop that went out of business this last year. And they've just been in in a drawer for all this time. But they're very nice scissors and they they make a really quick work of this ragging because the um it just goes exactly where it needs to go. You could almost do it blindfolded. And so I've been working on that and then I need to get my binding on as well. Then I can throw this baby in the washing machine and watch it get nice and fluffy on those ragged seams. So I was hoping to get it done this week, but quilting always takes way longer than you expect. So that's, uh, that's where I am. I'm well on my way to being done, but not quite. And then one other project that I sneaked in there this week that uh, 
um, I wanted to show you was from the Soya yeah subscription box. Uh, it's called the Friends Box, and uh, January's box um, was the the first box of this um, Friends Box series that they're going to have this year, and they're going to have a block of the month in each box. So at the end of the year, we'll have twelve blocks we can make a quilt with, and this is the first one. It's called Tilt a Whirl Star. And it's just out of solids. Not colors I would have picked, but we'll just see how it turns out. That's that's the fun of a mystery quilt, isn't it? So I got that done. I got that block number one done. And we got some beautiful fabric in um, that box as well. A nice amount of fabric and another pattern that you can uh, download or print off uh, from the link that they give you if you are a subscriber of the box. So if you want to uh, get in on the subscription box, contact soyaquilting.com and um, put one in your, in your cart and check out with it and you will be set up for the year. So I'm looking forward to this, this year's boxes. Uh, I got some of them last year, kind of started late in the year. Um, and they were nice boxes, but um, it looks like what they have planned for this year is, is super nice. So if you want to get in on that, um, go get you one. And if you have any trouble with that, let me know. Uh, supposedly, uh, I have been guaranteed that any of my subscribers who want a box can get one. Okay, that, my friends, is what I did this week. And I feel like I've been very busy with what I showed you, even though I've done many, many more projects in a week than this. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at your all's projects that you sent in to me. There's several, and I think the first one I want to share is from Pam, and she is working on the Pat Sloan uh, Sweet Childhood Memories quilt, and that is a Block Wednesday quilt and she has three blocks finished here um, I received this last Friday so she's probably done another one since then uh, but these are her first three blocks that she's done on the sweet childhood memories very nice she said that one of her favorite stories from childhood was the one my mom told me about her exploits with farm animals when she was young <laughs> all right and then um, Pam also made a um, Moda, this one, Moda, Moda Love Charm Pack Quilt. And she, bless her heart, she went into her stash and she put some things together. It didn't turn out exactly like she wanted, I don't think, from what she says. But it it turned out great, really. And nothing better than a... A project out of your stash instead of having to to go to the store so she's got a brown background here and then she's got some aqua and yellow and rust and some florals in there but you can definitely see the star shape and uh, it'll make a nice little quilt when you get it all finished great job Pam and then we also have one from Kathy she uh, took a class and she learned how to make this little owl here and that's a wall hanging and it looks like she's done some um oh what is it called some not crumb piecing but uh, oh it escapes me maybe she says it here i don't know anyway this is art isn't it see that owl and the, the big uh, wing there with all the different bits of fabric in it and sewn down. And it's just a, a very artistic, a very nice uh, project that you did there. I've been wanting to do this kind of thing where, uh, you know, you take little bits of fabric and, and make, a, make art out of it. But she took a class and learned how to do that. 
our friend Ernest has a finish. He hasn't had one for a while, and there's a backstory on that. That's because he's been working a lot on this hexi quilt. Now, he and I and a couple others are kind of doing these quilts together. And as you know, I haven't gotten very far on mine. <laughs> I am in the putting together of the hexies stage, sewing them together. Um, another girl I don't think has fully started yet. She might have her hexies uh, glued onto the templates. And then an, another of us uh, got started on her project and the dog ate it. <laughs> so funny, not funny, but uh, I don't think she had gotten too awfully far on it, but far enough that it was a, a great loss. So uh, here it is. Uh, here's Ernest. He's, he's, he's got his completely done. Go figure, huh? Well, here it is. Said, it took me three months to the day to finish, is what he says. The quilting is three different color threads, but pale in tone, to create a bicycle spoke pattern. I used a lot of older legacy thread for the piecing. The fabrics are about 99% paisley, and there are about 915 hexes in there. And I believe he said this would fit on the top of a queen bed and hang over a little bit. Um, but he's got every color of the rainbow in there and they're all paisleys. Uh, if you look real close, you'll see a cat, you'll see a bear, and you'll see a zebra on a few of those hexes. So he's got it all quilted and bound and done. And notice those uh, bicycle spoke um, straight line stitching there very nice very nice and the purple that you see there is the backing and that's a a hexy pattern as well and uh, all of us contribute a little bit of our hexy fabric to this quilt so that was fun and we made some nice friendships doing this together and uh, although he's done with his quilt i'm sure we'll still be talking for many many weeks months or years to come so get some of your friends together and do a project together and even if some of you don't get it finished at the same time you'll still be glad you did it great job Ernest as usual okay then we have Dolores now Dolores is our dear friend who makes a lot of uh, children's quilts for charity and she has done six and gotten them done. She has one that's a buffalo check that's just like a fleece uh, tie-up quilt. And then she has another one here that is uh, Wolverine, Iron Man, all those characters in a patchwork with blue. Spider-Man too. And then, let's see. Uh, the cat one. The cat that's sitting uh, that's cute and aqua red and black and with a black and white polka dot backing there's two of those and the other picture she sent is uh, another patch scrappy patchwork that has a yellow polka dot backing and a turquoise uh, binding and another one with uh, little bears on it and it has a rainbow sort of backing that's also uh, bears very cute very cute and she's done straight line stitching uh, cross hatch um, meander several meander yeah great job six quilts that will be loved by some little ones great job Dolores and then Tracy has a finish uh, she has a, um, also a Pat Sloan Sew Along, uh, from the past, but her four-year-old granddaughter, um, she has twin granddaughters, and she was over one night, and, uh, Tracy was watching Pat Sloan, and saw this quilt, and she asked her grandma to make it for her so she did so we have this beautiful quilt here 
um, with houses in all different colors, oranges and blues and greens. And the black and white polka dot just really sets that off on the roofs and chimneys and then the border. So it's not quilted yet, but it, the top is finished and she's going to be getting it quilted here pretty soon. Great job. Love that. So thank you guys for sending those in. That's always fun. And then I also got uh, some red and white. If you don't know, I'm collecting red and white uh, fat quarters for a red and white quilt that we are all going to do together. Um, well, I'm making it, but you you all are contributing to the red and white fabric. So I got one from Sharon, and it is kind of a peppermint stick that is on a in a chevron sort of well the peppermint sticks the stripes are making it look like a chevron pattern that'll be a nice addition to our quilt didn't have that one so i just think it's amazing how there's so many different you know you think red and white how much could there be but i have a big stack now and there's no doubles in any of it so we're going to have a cool quilt to cut out here pretty soon and get that going so that's what i have for today and i hope you guys have a great weekend and find a little time to sew because it's good for you and uh keep digging deep in those stashes and using what you have we're still in no by january it's almost over um this saturday january 28th is support your local quilt shop day and i'm giving you permission to buy some fabric if you want go to your local quilt shop not joann's walmart or any place like that your local quilt shop if you have one and uh, support them with a purchase and if you don't need any fabric buy some notions or a pattern all right, so have a great weekend again, and I will see you guys back here on Monday Quilt Chat. Bye!